Welcome to this MyInigo presentation on how to make your hypertrophy program from MyInigo Sport. It may be worthwhile to grab yourself a pen and paper to make notes throughout the presentation. The first two results you'll see on your profile are endurance and power. These two are probably the most important aspects of your sport report and utilize the most genetic research. In a hypertrophy based program, endurance and power are the two main aspects that we can use to help you understand which kind of rep range will suit you better. This slide represents the type of rep ranges you can use based on the genetic profile that you have. In general, if your power is higher than your endurance, then you should be utilizing more lower rep higher weight based activity in your session to build muscle. Uh, if both your power and endurance are the same or equal, then about 50-50 should be used between your session, therefore you're looking at between half your session being lower reps and heavier weights and the other half being higher reps and less weight. If your endurance is higher than your power, then higher rep sessions are more applicable to you. VO2 max is normally only spoken about in endurance based activity. However, in muscle building it does have some impact. Those in the high category should be able to get more oxygen to their muscles due to multiple factors, but one of those factors being more blood vessel growth within those muscles. This may have an impact on the pump that you get whilst lifting weights, but secondly it may mean that your sessions can last longer than others because you may have more oxygen going towards those muscles. Lean body mass and hypertrophy response. I guess you can say these two are the gifted gene categories. You can't really do much with them for a training program. However, those who fall favorably between lean body mass and hypertrophy response will be able to get further within a sport such as bodybuilding. However, just because you haven't got a gifted lean body mass doesn't mean that you can't have a low body fat percentage. It just may take longer and more training principles may have to be utilized to reach there. The research on hypertrophy response shows that those in the gifted categories normally have more muscle mass, especially on the upper body. However, most people can probably reach the same sort of level Again, it may take longer and again, more complex training principles and nutritional principles may have to be used if you are not in the gifted category. How many sessions a week should you train? We've compiled three of the results of your report to come up with this. Those three are injury risk, recovery and your psychological stress response. We've come up with three outcomes a high outcome, a normal outcome, and a lower outcome. We normally recommend utilizing a split muscle group routine throughout your week. However, if you are fortunate enough to fall in the high outcome category, it is possible that you can work multiple muscles every day without having much rest and still get great progressions without overtraining. However, it is also important to remember that nutritional factors will come into play. We use your anaerobic threshold genes to figure out the best amount of time for each session. Now for a hypertrophy program, we normally recommend for most people between half an hour and an hour per session, especially if you're just working one or two muscle groups in that session. However, if your anaerobic threshold has come back high, you can do more sets in your session and you can also make your session last longer. So for some people, they can actually work up to 120 minutes per session if the anaerobic threshold is high. Again, nutritional factors come into play. Having a good supply of glycogen throughout the session will be an excellent idea if you're training for that long. How much rest should you have between sets? This is based on the recovery genetics. 
Now, if your recovery is fast, you can normally have less rest between sets. However, we still like to utilize certain old school characteristics of if you're going to lift heavy, have more rest. If you're going to lift lighter, have less rest. If your recovery is slow, you need a bit more time between sets to get the same amount of weight up again. How many sets should you do? As spoke about before, we use anaerobic threshold to work out how long a session should last. Therefore, if you are in the high category, up to 10 sets can be utilised uh, for major muscle groups. If you come back average, it's probably not so applicable to use so many sets per muscle group. We normally recommend for compound movements sticking around the 4 set mark and for isolations between 2 or 3 sets. However, if you're in the high category, you can up this dramatically. Exercise effect on weight and basal energy expenditure. These two won't have much impact on your actual weightlifting resistance based training program. However, as muscle building is aesthetic, you may want to know the best way for you to lose body fat. Now, these two have an effect on your resting energy expenditure, so your basal energy expenditure, so those who are in the more gifted categories will be burning more calories off just resting, therefore they can actually increase their diet a little bit, therefore having more energy in the gym. And those who are gifted in exercise effect on weight should be hitting more of more exercise in each session to actually burn fat off rather than decreasing the calories. Those who have an average effect on exercise they should concentrate more on their diet and nutrition rather than trying to exercise harder to lose body fat. So in conclusion, from this small presentation, you should now be able to choose an applicable rep range for your training program, choose an applicable number of sets, figure out how long you should rest between those sets, know how many sessions a week you should train, and now you know the best way for you to lose body fat. I would like to thank you all for purchasing MyNego Sport and for listening to this presentation. If you are someone looking for a professional touch, maybe you're someone who's in elite sport right now or looking to get to elite sport, then get a consultation from our online portal now. The consultation will allow us to go in depth into your genetic profile, in depth into your training program and find ways to progress your training and your talents to reach your maximum potential. I thank you again and I look forward to hearing from you all soon.